Hi, welcome back to Bike Forever. Something a bit different today. Uh, we're looking at this Pico Pi. It's a Pico Pi W, which the W means it's Wi Fi. Uh, it's got Wi Fi interface on it. I've got it in a in a prototyping board there. So soldered pin header to it and just shoved it in there. And it's quite a good one because it's actually got. LEDs for all the pins um, and you can just attach wires at the side on these uh, screw terminals uh, so when I got this from I think I got it from the Pi Hut um, and I couldn't get it working I, I couldn't even get the blink program to work so like blink is effectively the most basic program you can run on there, it just flashes the onboard LED. So there's an LED, uh, I don't know if you can see, the surface mount LED right just to the, just to the right of the um, USB uh, connector there. It actually says LED, but it's upside down. <laughs> uh, so that wouldn't flash uh, with the Blink program. And then I thought, well, I don't really want to send it back because, to be honest, the postage would probably, you know, like be half the value of the, the board sending it back. So I thought I'll, I'll persevere a bit. It was probably something I've done wrong. So then I I went and uh, got the Pico Debug uh, probe from uh, Pi Hut as well. Uh, so this is, this attaches to uh well there's two things you can do it's got a uart bridge on it so you can use it as a serial monitor it's also got a debug port using the swd connection and i think that stands for uh, serial wire debug something that the arm processors uh, have built in so you can actually get in there and even though i couldn't get anything else working via the usb connector so you couldn't you couldn't do like print hello world and the LED doesn't flash. You can still go in there, do a remote GDB uh, debugging session. And that's what I've done. So I'll put a link to the description to the instructions for documentation for this um, on the, uh, I think it's the Raspberry Pi Foundation website. It's really thorough. It goes into the details of Linux, Mac OS and Windows, how to do it on each system. But essentially what you're doing is you're installing Open OCD. I actually had to build it uh, on this Linux uh, laptop. Um, you install GDB MultiArc. So the MultiArc bit allows you to GDB, you know, a, a target board which isn't the native CPU to the, the local host. And so what we do, I've just um, I've quit that at the moment, previous session, so i just run open LCD again. And there you can see it's configured to wait for connections from GDB on port 3333. Three. Um, enough threes there. <laughs> so when you run that, what that's done is the... To show that it's actually connected, there's a couple of LEDs there, the, the yellow and green one. Uh, it shows it's connected to the, the Pico Pi. The Pico Pi is running the Blink.elf, uh, so that's a debug built version. Uh, and then if I switch this other tab on here, so what I can actually do, I was running it before, but I'll run it. From the con line again, so we've got GDB multi arc blink ELF, and it so it reads the symbol. So now um, you've got to actually set the, the target because uh, you know it's just sitting there waiting to run the program. Um, so you set up that so that it's target uh, remote local host. And then you put in 3333. So it actually connects now. So that's connected to, effectively, directly to the Pico Pi. And so it's the Blink program. So we can do BT, that's the stack backtrace. Uh, it's not too easy to see with the color scale I've got in here, but um, 
it's actually just in sleep us which is sleep microseconds um so you can continue that and i'll just that'll just run the program on pico pi i'll continue it but actually you can see the the built-in led is not uh running or not flashing so but the code is executing correctly um, so yeah, that gives me a bit of confidence the board is actually working. Um, so I might, I, I'm not sure what the fault is, why I can't get the uh, the uh, USB uh, serial working, you know, serial output through that to a terminal. Um, I've done, exa I've used exactly the same binary on um on a, a different board, it's not a Pico W though, it's just a, a Pico, uh, Pico Pi, or a Pi Pico, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I'll just carry on with this, uh, see if I can get any further with this, this, what apparently was a broken board, but actually appears to be working internally. See if I can get some, get a different program, get some IO pins working. Okay, anyway, that's all for now on the uh, Raspberry Pi Pico and the Pico debug. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.